What is up, scent heads, smell beast, and frag freaks? It's your boy. My name is Mega Dave, and this is Oh So Fresh. Yo, what is good, Fresh fam? For everybody returning, I want to say thank you so much for being a freshie. It really means a lot. And if this is your first time here, welcome. As I said before, my name is Mega Dave. This is my channel, Oh So Fresh. I do reviews on fragrances that I absolutely love. And I hope that you love them too. If you do, give me two huge fresh thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoy the content. Also, think about subscribing and hit me right there in the bell end. Real good. Give it one good push. Boom. That lets you know when I upload new content because who knows, could be your favorite fragrance that I review next. Today, I wanted to do a quick video. I've been seeing a lot of people asking me, messaging me all the time, like my friend Taras, who just blew me up, asking about maceration, right? And I've already said in many videos before to macerate these videos, not masturbate. That's completely different. Do that on your own time. We're quarantined now, so probably going to be a lot of macerating going on. Now, maceration is not as important with bottles that are sitting for a very, very long time in warehouses, these big, big companies have millions of bottles. Sam at Dua literally makes them custom as soon as you order it, sucks them out, puts them into your bottle, caps them, crimps them, ships them. So you get them and they're very, very fresh. They're infantile and they're at no way near their peak what they should be. So I'm just going to go over a couple of tips, how to macerate, what to do, and how to get the best performance out of your Duas. All right, so the very first thing you got to do is have a bottle. So Boom, we got one here. Definitely one of my favorites, Aphrodisiac. Very good fragrance. So mine is fully macerated, of course. I do all of mine. The one tip that I can give to people is when you buy a bottle, or if you have the means to do, buy at least one season ahead. Now, the sweet spot is two to six weeks. I tend to go a little bit longer, but I think there's a time where maceration just completely stops altogether and it's reached to the point where it's fully blended, it's fully macerated, and will go no further. But two weeks is probably the minimum. That's where I would stay. I know Sam himself from Dua has said two weeks, but I've tested personally myself now. Could depend on the ingredients that are in the bottle, of course, but six weeks is usually the very full amount that you'll get from it. I'm going to put a picture up right here, and this was from my friend Aaron, who just showed actually one of these bottles here, Aphrodisiac, a brand new bottle and a fully macerated bottle. So you tell me that that maceration is a myth. People in other forums as well, especially the Aventus groups, talk about a, a grail batch where things are changing colors or they can see different fruits or whatnot floating in their Aventus. The same thing is with these. These things get better with time. So do yourself the justice and let them sit. So let's get into how to macerate. So you just got your bottle. You rip that piece of cardboard open and you get it, right? And you're like, yeah, I'm going to put it up. Nope. First thing you do when you get your bottle, open it, sniff it, and fall in love. Second, usually it'll have air. This one is already macerated, like I said, but spray it till air comes out. I usually will get one wearing out of it. I have a different one, so I don't want to put this on. But usually I'll get my test out of it for the day. <sighs> I haven't smelled this in a long time. <sighs> so we'll get you a wearing out of it. The very first day when you get it, boom, boom, boom. Or if you want to test it on a strip, however you guys do it. If you get multiple bottles like I do, you can put them on test strips. I tend to know. I have so many that I'm going to need to sniff that day. I'm like a dang... Uh, blotter i have a scent here a scent here a scent here a scent here but wear it the day test it whatever introduce some oxygen to it so those couple pumps already it sucked in oxygen cap it and that's how you macerate it now the way to do it there's a lot of different ways the biggest tip that i can give you put it away from your eyesight get it away from the sunlight i'm going to show you kind of what i do and you can do the same thing if you want all right we're here in one of my little offices where I keep some of my spares. I have these <laughs> colognes all over my house, my office. But assuming you've already introduced oxygen, you're wearing the fragrance itself. Now, my advice to you, like I said, put it away. 
put it to somewhere where you're not going to see it and be tempted to wear it. Like I said, if you're buying a season ahead, you probably shouldn't be wearing them anyway, but wear them as you like. But this is how I do it. So drawers like this everywhere, you pop them open. These babies are all sitting on ice. You take your aphrodisiac, whatever it may be, put it in there with the rest of the, the gang, close it. That's it. Put it away. Out of sight, out of mind. Now, assuming you've had the wherewithal and the guts to let it sit minimum of two weeks, you should have your bottle out. It should be changed color. If it's a darker color, it should have changed color. You'll see that's one of the big testaments to this, like you saw in that photo from my friend Aaron. The color gets deeper, gets richer. You should notice some changes, but the biggest, you should smell a difference right from the opening when you spray it. Like I said, don't think you can spray it. Oh, I've introduced the oxygen and now I can just wear it like normal. You got to let it rest. Once you introduce that, little bubbles all mix in there. Everything gets all together. All those oils and alcohols all blend together. It helps pop open. And I know when you look at maceration, say like on a wine, they say one day to 99 days to 100 days, something like that, depending on what's in here. Of course, let it rest. The longer, the better. I think you don't get much change from six weeks and beyond, but there may be people that tell you different. I just know from my experience, my number is six weeks. That's why I say buy a season ahead, a month and a half. But if you don't have the means to, by all means, try your best to let it sit two weeks. That's going to give you the best power. That's going to give you the best longevity. That's the way you get your best use out of Dua. Just like when you cook a steak on the grill, or put your turkey, they generally say, however long you cook it for, you need to rest it for, right? So the juices can sit in there and get together and combine and be phenomenal. So do the same with your fragrance. Have the guts and have the, the strength to at least set it back for two weeks, minimum. Now, feel free at the two week mark to pull it out if you want. Just know for some of the fragrances, like an aphrodisiac, like a shadow play, things like that, those will get better all the way up to about six weeks, and then feel free to wear them as you want and be explosive in your head and know that it's going to be even better. So for people that are complaining about performance with their duas, there is no do I have that lasts less than seven hours. If you macerate and you have the ability to let it sit and buy a season ahead, you will always have max power fragrances. So do do a favor, do yourself a favor, let them rest, and that's how you macerate. So again, just to sum it up really quick, Get your bottle, sniff it, get a good wearing out of it or get a good test, introduce some oxygen, cap it, put it away out of the sun, out of your mind so you don't think about it, so you don't try to grab it because I know they're fantastic and that's the first thing people want to do is wear it, show it off and try to do that. But put it away, close it, put it in a shelf, in a cabinet somewhere, in a drawer, somewhere not on your normal everyday fragrance shelf so you're not staring at it and looking at it like, I'm just going to do one wearing that won't hurt, right? Set it back, two weeks minimum, come back, grab it, spritz yourself, and enjoy the power of Dua. So like I said, hopefully this can help guys and girls out that ask and ask and ask. This is how you macerate. This is how you do it. This is There's no secret to it. There's no secret to it. Spray, introduce oxygen, put out of the sun, keep it out of mind, let it sit for a minimum of two weeks and a maximum of six weeks. And you're ready to go. That's it. But that's how you macerate. We're stuck in this house. I'm going to be trying to come up with different clever videos to help you guys out. If you have any more questions or anything you need or any tips that you want to give, put them down in the description. Let's chat about it. Tell me what video you want next. I love you guys so much. Be safe. Be blessed. And stay fresh. We got, we show,